Here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, January the 22nd, 2022. It was on this day, 1938, Thornton Wilder's play, Our Town, premiered at the McCarter Theater in Princeton, New Jersey, about the fictional town of Grover's Corners, New Hampshire, Emily Webb and George Gibbs, children in the first act, in the second act, they marry, in the third, Emily has died in childbirth and she's looking back from beyond the grave with other dead citizens of Grover's Corner, and she decides to revisit the happiest day of her life, her twelfth birthday. Thornton Wilder had trouble writing that third act. It finally came to him when he was in Zurich. He was entertaining a friend who was probably also his lover, Samuel Stewart. The two of them stayed up until dawn to hear the bells of Zurich. There was some drinking going on. It was raining. They were looking for an umbrella. And Thornton Wilder wrote the last act of our town, beginning with the graveyard scene, with the umbrellas. And he told Samuel Stewart that the graveyard scene came from Stewart's complaining about his feet getting wet as he was walking home. The play was revolutionary for its time. Wilder had decided not to use scenery, almost no props. He wanted his play to be more like the great Greek tragedies, and the dead people sitting in the cemetery commented much like a Greek chorus. From Princeton, the play went on to Boston, where it was a flop. It got bad reviews, played to half-empty houses. Some audience members walked out. But two influential New York theater critics, Brooks Atkinson and Alexander Wolcott, convinced the director and producer to give it another try and bring it to New York. And it did better there. And it won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, 1938. And it's now estimated that on average, our town is performed at least once every night somewhere in the world. It's the birthday of the novelist Aaron Kyle, born in Peoria, 1978, grew up in Colorado, the town of Grand Junction. She liked horses, she took riding lessons, competed in horse shows, went off to college, and while she was in grad school, she wrote a short story called Foaling Season about a girl who lives on a horse ranch in a town called Desert Valley. It was published in the Atlantic Monthly, won the National Magazine Award for Fiction, and she turned it into a novel called The God of Animals. The Foaling Season is the first chapter of the book, and The God of Animals became a bestseller. The God of Animals, which begins... Six months before Polly Kane drowned in the canal, my sister Nona ran off and married a cowboy. Here's a poem by William Stafford, The Little Ways That Encourage Good Fortune. Wisdom is having things right in your life and knowing why. If you do not have things right in your life, you will be overwhelmed. You may be heroic, but you will not be wise. If you have things right in your life, but do not know why, you are just lucky, and you will not move in the little ways that encourage good fortune. The saddest are those not right in their lives who are acting to make things right for others. They act only from the self, and that self will never be right. No luck, no help, no wisdom. William Stafford's poem, The Little Ways That Encourage Good Fortune, from his collection, The Way It Is, New and Selected Poems, published by Grey Wolf Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>